Okay, I am wearing my microphone, the lights are on. <sighs> Let's give this one more try. Hello and welcome back to Class 509, the YouTube channel where I sit down and talk about science history. Although today I'm not sitting down, but I'm still talking about science history, so you know. Did you know that April is Global Astronomy Month? That's why we have all of the stars. What? Ah! Astronomy is something that has fascinated me for most of my life. I love sitting back and looking up at the stars and thinking about just how infinitesimally small we really are. And thinking about whether or not there's life on other planets or what is really out there in all of the blackness. It's a really good time. Or maybe I'm just an epic nerd? At this point I'm kind of too afraid to ask. Most, if not all, of the etymology episodes so far have followed a particular word and we've kind of looked at when it started to mean exactly what it means today. But this one's sort of the opposite. We're looking at where astronomy came from. Astronomy now means the study of anything beyond the Earth's atmosphere. So things like black holes, planets, the solar systems, stars, red dwarfs, all of that kind of stuff. If it's out there, astronomy covers it. But originally it meant something else in addition to that definition that we have today. Back in the day, astronomy and astrology were entirely interchangeable. They meant exactly the same thing. And uh, that sound you're hearing right now is the sound of thousands of angry astronomers coming to charge my house and kill me with their telescopes. Yep, I should keep talking. <laughs> They're very, very different. But back before the 1700s, people genuinely thought that they were exactly the same thing. People literally thought that the study of the stars and the planets could tell you exactly what was going to happen the next day and where humanity was going and have some sort of effect on your personality. The Oxford English Dictionary Online uses the term human affairs and then kind of hastily, very hastily tries to point out that it's, you know, a historical definition. <laughs> it's like, this is not us guys, these were the medieval people, not us, we had nothing to do with this, we know that this is not actually right. <laughs> After about the year 1730, scientists kind of seem to have woken up to the fact that the position of stars and planets in the sky have absolutely no effect on the future or your personality. What? I know, it's crazy talk. And so the definition of astronomy kind of shifted to cut astrology out completely. And they decided that one was going to mean one thing and the other word was going to mean the other thing. One was scientific, the other one was very definitely not. And uh, <laughs> that sound is now no longer the sound of angry astronomers, it's the sound of angry astrologers coming to beat me over the head with their newspaper columns. Yeah, I can't win. If you enjoyed this episode, there is plenty more where that came from. Possibly the schedule for these videos is going to be a little bit wonky over the next couple of weeks. There's a good reason for that. And if you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you will be able to follow on with why that's happening and find out when all of my posts are actually going up on YouTube. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. That was very community channel. I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> April is Global Astronomy Month. Did you know that? No? Surprise! I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe I'm just kind of getting into the swing of all of the... Uh, I'm losing my mind, guys. <laughs>